Yo, what up, cats? My Escape Twenty here, and today, guys, what I view today is the Borderlands the pre sequel skill point guide for Wilhelm the Enforcer, and this guy is quite a neat character. So, um, in Borderlands Two, Wilhelm was actually a boss fight. He was this massive machine, a uh, Hyperion machine that went around and killing it. If you guys remember, it was like on an ice level. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can remember what I'm talking about. I will make it a uh, Featured video for you guys that way you know what I'm talking about, but um yeah So this is actually him in his human form before he turned fully robot So um, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna talk about two different builds. We're gonna talk about his Wolf and Saint build which is like the yin and yang which is hyper offensive and hyper defensive And then we're gonna talk about one that's fully focused on laser and gun damage um, as well as getting kill skills and reset so <coughs> Still a little bit sick, so I apologize about that. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the Wolf and Saint build. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to focus on uh, the offensive. Just to go ahead and get quickly kills. Um, and then once you enter the next playthrough, then you'll start build becoming more defensive at that point. So you're going to get Afterburner 5 of 5, um, just like that. And yeah, so after what that does is wolf airspeed, reload speed, and projectile feed. It just makes wolf a little bit better, pretty much. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot better than uh, I think starting with this. Um, I don't know. There's something about it. I feel like this is just the better one to start with. Um, fire support is what you're gonna start next, which increases wolf damage and um, your weapon damage. So you're gonna do that. And then next you're going to come over here to laser guided, which is uh, while they're active, you can um, press LB again. And what that's going to do is mark a target. Saint is going to mark a target for you. And then um, Wolf does, in you and Wolf do increased, actually everybody pretty much um, that you're playing with does increased damage to that target. And if you kill that target while it's marked, while it's marked um, you get five seconds reset. So that is like the best freaking one ever. So next, what you're going to do is Rolling Thunder. While Wolf is active, you will per periodically gain stacks of Rolling Thunder, increasing Wolf's damage. So just like this, you're going to keep marking them, increasing your damage, and then over time, you're going to be doing um, more and more and more stacks. So increased more damage at the same time, which means like you're always going to have Wolf out. Um, so after you get that, what you're going to come up here and do is Venom Bolt. And we're going to do that 5 out of 5. And the reason we're not going to touch these is because... Um, this is not really that useful. It's shock, incinerary, or corrosive. Um, this kind of works with it because it is corrosive, so it could freeze it. Um, I just don't really think it's that worth it um, in the build that we're going to do. And this one is increases your critical hit damage and stuff. It's not really um, what we're looking for. So you're going to do that increased um, Venom Bolt dam uh, Chance. I'm sorry. That's going to um, do a lot of damage to people as well as all your other damage is going to increase. Um, then you're going to come down here to Omega Strike, it, and it shoots out missiles and does a ton of damage. So, uh, we have our offensive tree done, and at this point, you're level 25 in the game, you're still not 100% done with the first playthrough, um, or at least you shouldn't be. So, you're, you're very strong at this point. So, so yeah, next thing what we're going to do is come over here to um, the defensive tree for, for Wilhelm. This is going to focus more on Saint and his powers. So... We're going to come over here and auxiliary tanks, just increasing the wolf and saint duration as well as the cooldown makes it where we can do a lot more damage as well as um, have it, you know, have it up more often. Um, next, after that, you're going to come over here and you're going to go to 4 to 5, 5 out of 5. And the reason we're going to do this is it increases our gun damage and maximum health for us and wolf. The longer wolf can stay out, the longer we can stand out, um, the better. So after you're going to do that, you're going to come down here to uh, terminal Termination Protocol. And what this is, it increases your fight for your life. Um, it completely replaces it, and you're going to be doing, like, huge nuke damage. And this is freaking awesome. Like, once you go down, if you actually do this, um, I've never died with Wilhelm. Like, actually died, died. I've been down before, but I've never actually died because of this skill. Um, this skill is sick. Um, it's really good, so I definitely highly recommend picking this up as soon as possible. Um, next, you're going to come down here is to go to um, Hazmat Containment System, and what this is, your elemental resistance is increased by 
percent and occasionally you will um spread that status effect to nearby enemies when it's active so if you get caught on fire you reduce it by 50 percent and then spread fire to everybody else um this thing is awesome i definitely recommend picking this up because it just makes you such a tank at this point um and the best part is is also does shock so your shields don't take as much damage as well um, next thing you're going to come down here and do is you're going to go to zero hour, one of one. And what this does, it ha creates a little containment zone. And if you stay in it, you get increased max health or, or regenerate all your max health um, if you're in that zone for you and your teammates. So it's very, very nice, especially if you're playing with the team. Um, after that, you're going to come up here to heat sink, which is right over here. Improves your shield recharge rate as well as the delay. And you're just going to do four to five right now. Um, because then, after doing that, you're going to come to Overcharge, which is basically immediately um, when Saint is, summer, is <laughs> summoned, um, you get all that stuff. So you get movement speed, reload speed, fire rate, ammo regen, as well as the duration that it lasts. So, um, yeah, so once doing that, you're going to be level 47. Then we have three more skill points to um, invest. So we're going to come up here, and we're going to finish Heat Sinks, just get that additional 6% and the 3%. Um, which is, I think, a little bit worth it. Um, and then once you do that, you can come over here to Kill Switch, and this thing is awesome. Whenever it's re recalled or runs out of health um, or expires, it you know dies bomb and does a ton of uh, explosive damage. So this is a pretty good skill. I wouldn't pick it up early, but um, late game, it is very nice. And then once doing that, you're going to come over here to Scramble, and you're going to do... Um... Wait. Yeah, I did kill switch. Um, and then you're gonna come over here to scramble and you're gonna do that one of five. I'm sorry about that. I, I got confused. Um, so yeah, once doing that, what this does is when Wolf is destroyed, is replaced with one for free and it will be added 30 seconds, 30% to their duration. Um, if you're using the Celestial class mod, I actually in game use this energizer. I just put one in that so I would get six out of five because the level 50 was five out of five. Um, which is nice. But if you're not planning on using that class mod, I would get this. Um, Scramble, I think, is a lot better option. Actually does what we want to do um, a little bit better. So yeah, that is that is this skill tree. Um, the pros and cons. The pros is um, you don't have to really do much. Your, you know, your wolf is super powerful, and I mean super powerful, and you as well as you're very tanky. And you can also be a team player as well. You know, tank up a lot of damage um, as well as create healing zones for people. Um, the I guess the cons would be, um, you're not really reliant on your gun damage, so while Wolf and Saint is down, you're really not that useful, but we have so many cooldown rate reductions and stuff like this, um, that it's really not a problem, so there's really no negatives to this build, um, you know, I've played this build a ton, this is like my main build on it, and I can tell you right now, this, I felt Wilhelm was the strongest character in the game, now I know Nisha at one point, was um the actual strongest but um i just felt like wilhelm never never let up his power so at all points in the game i felt powerful um so yeah so yeah and we're gonna move on to the next one which is all about that base or lasers really um so yeah what you're gonna do is five out of five on laser focus increasing our laser damage as well as our magazine size by 12. then you're gonna come down here to first fight this is going to increase our gun damage by 40%. So this build is all focused around us having a ton of gun damage, um, but primarily lasers. So, um, yeah, that is that is very good. Let me just check that real quick. Okay. Then you're going to come down here to Power Fist 1 of 1. And uh, this is a melee override, and um, you basically shatter somebody. Now, this is really good if you act, if you use this, this tree and freeze people. Um, you can come over here and slam down as well as power fist. Um, so I like doing that a lot, but that's actually not what we're going to do. Um, but I will definitely teach you that during the loadout guides. Um, yeah. So what you're going to do next is come over here to emergency response 5 out of 5. And the reason we're choosing this is whenever your shield comes depleted, you get all of this stuff for 15 seconds. And that is awesome. And, you know... It's it's just so powerful that um you know your shields are gonna go down you know but we're gonna make up with that a little bit later but it is super powerful um next I'm gonna give you guys the option what to do um you can either do meteor slam for more uh, hyper offensive so if you're planning on using like the Excalibur which is the freeze 
legendary um, laser that you can get just by having 2,500 badass points. This is very nice because you freeze the enemy and you can either melee override or slam down and it shatters them and does a ton of damage. So, you know, that is an option. But if you don't plan on using your, um, if you don't plan on using Cairo weapon or anything like that, then I think Divert Power is just as strong. As you can see here, whenever your shields are depleted and your health is low, you gain 83% damage resistant instantly recharges 100% of your shields, um, and the cooldown rate is about 25 seconds. So, the cooldown rate is very long, but you, you basically get, like, a free revive with that. Um, you, you know, you take so much less damage that, uh, you know, I just don't see you dying. So, you know, that, that part is up to you. For me, since, um, I, when I played this, I used, uh, Cairo weapons a lot. Um, I used the Excalibur, so I went ahead and did Meteor Slam, but this is still a very, very good um, skill, so I feel like these could be interchanged. It just depends what you want to do. Um, so next you're going to come down here to Vengeance Cannon, and what that is, whenever your shield becomes depleted, as well as getting all of this stuff, um, you get, and the reason, and that was another reason why I'll tell you that in a second, but um, you get this massive like shoulder cannon, and it does so much damage. Um, it does incinerary damage, and that will, like, just destroy everything. Um, it's really, really good, and it lasts for 12 seconds. So, um, the thing about this is we want this to come up as much as possible. If we're always having our shields up, like, instantly, we're never really going to truly get this. Um, now, I know this says when your shields are depleted and stuff like that, but we're trying not to 100% have it that way. Um, I know it's, it sounds a little weird, but it's kind of like Athena the melee build where you know you kind of want the shields down a lot you kind of with Wilhelm you want the shields up and then quickly down and you want the shields up then quickly down like you where Athena you always want them down so um at least the melee so it's it's a little bit weird to try to balance that but if you can do it Wilhelm is is a god tier so um yeah once doing that you're going to reach level 25 and that is still very strong that's a good part in the game next you're going to come over here to uh Shock Absorbers, you're going to pick this up before entering this other tree. And the reason I say that is your gun damage is increased by 20%. And you can sprint and still do a ton of gun damage with no accuracy um, penalties. So, uh, this is just such a good tree. I feel like picking this up before you start your other tree is a little bit better. Because the other tree really isn't as strong as this tree itself. So, um, for at least what we're trying to do. So, once doing that, you're going to come up here to... Uh, Oh, well, it's not really, um, oh, auxiliary tanks come over here to 5 out of 5, and that's just going to increase the duration, um, as well as the cooldown rate, and it's just better than, I guess, doing, um, well, I guess you could do fortify 5 out of 5, the gun damage is increased, so yeah, you're going to do that instead, you're going to come up here to fortify, increase your max health, um, and just do increased gun damage, um, after you're doing that, you're going to come down here to energize, and we're not going to be using our shield, um, we want to... Occasionally boost the shield of you and your friends and then gives you know gives you health regen and stuff like that So you can either do that or the auxiliary tanks I would say um, depending on what you want to do if you feel like you're dying a little bit more maybe pick up one of these but um, That auxiliary tanks is still very good for this build um, You're gonna come over here to terminal protocol because the fight for your life skill like I was telling you is just so powerful um, I feel like you need to pick it up Next, you can come out here to Rapid Reinforcement. So instead, on the tanky side, we went to here. Um, then it's not really, you know, uh, you know, it's not really useful for us. And by the way, the Hard to Kill is a terrible, terrible perk. Do not, please do not get it. It takes so long to stack up. Um, and the after a few seconds, they immediately are removed. Um, it is not worth it at all. Do not get Hard to Kill. Um. So yeah, just on the tankiness side. Okay, so we're going to go back to Rapid Reinforcement. Kill skill gives you movement speed, reload speed, and action skill cooldown rate. So that is very nice. Um, next, you can come to Kinetic Armor, which is increase your maximum health, which is nice if we're not going to have shields. Um, and then if they get near you, um, not even touch you, just get near you, um, they, you know, things explode on them. So you get a 25% chance, I think for it's like every second. Um, yeah, the closer the enemy, the higher the chance the detonation is. So, um, so say if you're going to be slamming next to them, exploding them is going to be great as well. So, and finally, you're going to come over here to overcharge one of one. And then after that, 
you know, we talked about that. It's nice because it has the fire rate, movement speed, as well as the ammo regen. Um, then you're going to come over here to, to um, 202 to targeting skill uh, scope. And this is a kill skill. Killing an enemy gives you increased accuracy and gun and uh, critical damage for a few seconds. So that's very nice to have. So um, the critical damage is really what we're worried about. The accuracy and not so much. But the critical damage is nice. Because we can always increase um, recoil, recoil reduction as well as accuracy on our badass rank. Which I will be making a guide on how to um, correctly assign those. So um, yeah. So anyway, if you... You know, enjoy that. Let me know. I guess I'll go over some quick pros and cons. The pros of this is you do a lot of gun damage. Um, you know, this is the highest amount of damage that Wilhelm can actually do, um, which is very nice. But as you can see, you're not that tanky. So you will go down a lot. But the nice thing about it is because of this skill, um, you can easily get back up. So it, it's nice. It's not as team supportive. And it definitely requires you to do most of the work instead of Wolf, but it is still very, very strong. Um, out of the two, I'll let you know, I actually like the first build a lot better. This build is really, really fun. Um, don't get me wrong, but the first build I find is more practical because, um, you know, you can still do a lot of gun damage if you have legendaries, as well as your Wolf and Saint doing some stuff as well. So that's why I feel like the first one is a lot better. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or variations of this build, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. So previous video is the Athena skill point guide for Borderlands the pre-sequel. So if you're having trouble on how to build her, um, you know, what is the best class of building her per se, um, then I definitely recommend checking that out. That'll give you in-depth guide on her elemental and her melee build. And featured video is the Wilhelm boss fight I was talking to you guys about from Borderlands 2. Now, um, this is the character that was inspired by uh, Borderlands 2 uh, to become a main character in Borderlands the pre-sequel. So, um, you know, it has pre-sequel, it came in between um, 1 and 2, so... In this video, I don't want to spoil it for you, but he's in a different form and everything like that, so I definitely recommend checking that out if you haven't played the game yet. Um, yeah, so anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to see more videos on Borderlands the pre-sequel, please leave a thumbs up. Also, best way to contact me is on Twitter, at MyHeroScape20. And if you want to see me play this game live, go to twitch.tv slash MyHeroScape20. So thanks guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Alright, peace!